Hey, thank you everyone and thank you Jacob and Brittany for that fabulous introduction. Um, again, my name is Benjamin Cracciola and I'm a junior here at James River High School and I'm going to be talking to you today about being optimistic. Before I get started, however, I want to talk to you guys a little bit about my background as a freshman in coming into James River. There we go. So I think, you know, coming in as a freshman, we've all felt this way where we're lost in the crowd. And we're not really sure where we belong and where we want to fit in. Thankfully, I had two very good friends that were interested in the Theater on the James program here. And I got involved with backstage work um, during my freshman year in high school. And that was a very rewarding experience for me. It helped to build a lot of confidence and responsibility. By the end of the summer, however, I, you know, it was nice to try out theater, but I still wasn't feeling it. I knew that wasn't really where I belonged. And I kept asking myself this question, where do I belong? And I think even today as adults, I'm sure you guys ask that all the time. You know, we come home and we're drained emotionally and you're exhausted and you just don't know who you are really. Not, all, not every day, but some days. So I was talking to my twin cousins about this, Kathleen and Leah Lottenheiser, and they're a huge inspiration in my life. And I was just kind of, you know, laying all my troubles on and I'm talking to them about this. And I also talked to them about how I have two really good friends that were on the James River crew team, the rowing team. And I was interested in rowing, but I had never been a sports guy in elementary or middle school. So I was very afraid and intimidated by the thought of trying out for something I'd never really done before. But they gave me a great piece of advice that's really stayed with me, and that was to try. Um, that there was nothing to lose and that, you know, you can benefit from doing something new. And I took their advice and they were absolutely right. And it's been a wonderful um, reward and experience both in my life and in my high school career. So as you guys can see, just a couple pictures of my experience at um, the James River rowing team. So now that you guys know a little bit about my background in, at James River, um, I do want to say my confidence has gotten a lot bigger and better because of crew, just finding my group and finding kind of where I belong in the school a little bit. But there are still days where I come home and I feel drained. You know, I'm not sure is this who I am and where I belong. So really quick, because I'm running out of time, I'm going to get to my three points that um, help to keep me upbeat and op optimistic. So the first one is to appreciate the little things. Um, we go through life so fast, it's all a blur. And I think we just need to stop for a second and appreciate you know, the beauty of the sky, the kindness around us. Just stop and think and appreciate. The second is to be kind to others. We all expect a reward when we're nice to someone, you know, that balance. But why don't we just do a random act of kindness just for the heck of it, you know? Why not just be kind and um, just be kind for the heck of it? Sorry to be repetitive, but um, you know, if I'm out to lunch with a friend, I may offer to buy them lunch, or I may just give out a random compliment, you know, and having that smile on their face is reward enough for me. And the third point I want to make, as you guys can see, is just to laugh. And I'm a huge goofball. I mean, all my friends can tell you. And I think laughing at yourself is a big key to being happy. So just to reiterate, um, those are my three things that keep me happy in the daily stress of life. And as Bernard uh, Baruch uh, puts it best, those who mind don't matter, and those who matter don't mind. Thank you.